After the successful landing of India's Chandrayaan-3 mission on the surface of moon, I 3D printed this Vikram lander miniature for my work and it definitely looked great but it had a simple problem. It was simply a piece of plastic which was 3D printed and did not serve as anything useful for me. So I thought of adding some electronic components inside and hence in this video I am going to discuss how I converted this 3D printed Vikram lander into a smart gadget. So after seeing the overall design, the first thought that came to my mind is to add an OLED display to it and add some cool features which would be useful for me on my desktop. And the first thing that came to my mind is a clock because well it looks cool, it is very much small and making a clock should not be that difficult. So I got the components very quickly which were a RTC clock module which will send the clock data to a microcontroller an OLED display to actually display the time along with a microcontroller to get the data from the RTC clock module and display it on our OLED display. But since this is a miniature of an advanced moon lander, I thought of adding some extra features to it. So the first sensor that came to my mind is an inertial measurement unit because the actual Vikram lander also houses one and that particular inertial measurement unit was one of the most important sensors which actually facilitated the landing of the actual Vikram lander. Along with that, Chandrayaan 3's real Vikram lander also had an instrument for lunar seismic activity which was sort of an inertial measurement unit itself but way more sensitive meant specifically to measure the seismic activity on the surface of moon. Well, if you want to know more about it, I have made a video about the same and you will find the link to it in the i button. So since I definitely cannot afford these big sized inertial measurement units, I decided to go with the most reliable MPU 6050. This is a 6 degree of freedom inertial measurement unit with a temperature measuring sensor as well. And I decided to get the data from this inertial measurement unit on my OLED display. And the best data point that I thought of was the angular rotation. So the angular rotation of the X, Y and Z axis will be displayed on this miniature Vikram lander along with the temperature of the MPU 6050 unit. So after deciding all of these data points, it was now time to order all the remaining components. And once all the components arrived, I wrote a simple code to display all of this in a decent fashion so that I can see all the data at the same time in real time continuously. And after doing this, I simply uploaded this code. And once it was made sure that all the connections were going right, I decided to solder all of these components together. Because well, the Vikram lander that I have designed is very much small and it won't be able to house all of these sensors with breadboard connections. While the connections were being soldered, I decided to make some changes to the CAD module of our Vikram lander. And after making some cutouts for the OLED display, I decided to 3D print both of these parts inside my 3D printers. The white colored part which was basic in structure was sent to the Ender 3 V2 Neo and the much detailed structure of Vikram lander that is the top part was sent to the Ender 3 V3 SE and both of these printers did a very good job at printing this particular structure. Once the prints were out I made the final soldering connections for all of these sensors and then decided to house everything nicely inside this constrained volume and after struggling for quite a bit I finally managed to get everything inside. And now it was finally time to power it up. And while speaking of ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 lander, there was another very important component which made sure that the success of this Vikram lander actually happens. And that was the LVM-3M4 rocket which actually launched Vikram lander from the surface of Earth. A lot of you wanted to buy this LVM-3 rocket from me and holding all of your transactions to WhatsApp was difficult. I got a lot of messages and it was very difficult to keep track of all those orders. So now we have finally listed ourselves on Etsy and you can buy this LVM3 M4 rocket in three different sizes from our Etsy store. That is the 15 cm miniature, a 35 cm medium module which will be more than enough for any of you and if there is a custom order it can also be designed by the 3D printers but for that you'll have to discuss with me on my WhatsApp itself. And if you want to buy the 3D printed miniature, the link for that is available in the description itself. Go check it out. Along with that, if you wish to make an alarm clock similar to this Vikram lander, then you can find the buy link for the 3D printed parts of this Vikram lander along with all the components that I've used in this particular project. This particular Vikram lander 
can be customized to add alarm clocks using my smartphone. A dedicated application can also be designed for it. I'll most probably use the MIT app inventor for that. Along with this, the data points along all the six axes from the MPU 6050 can be collected on a daily basis to maybe get some interesting insights into my setting pattern say. Well, overall, I definitely enjoyed making this small project so to say. And let me know your opinion in the comment section. With this, I'll see you in another such video related to say science or robotics. Till then, goodbye.